Welcome to Dogman Homestead. My name is Mike, and if you'll look behind me, I got the wall up. Uh, it's actually going to be the entrance into the, I'm calling it the dog apartment now. I mean, I got an air conditioner for them. There's probably going to be beds in there, you know, maybe a radio, pictures of me. You know, you got to have pictures of me in there. And uh, we're going to get, I'm going to try to get this wall finished today. It's actually going to go, it's about eight feet high here. And then I'm going up another two feet. I got to run some uh, flashing in between the two sections. So it will flow down onto the roof. I'm going to put this last piece of metal roofing in there. You'll see when I get to that point what I'm doing. I've, I've got this design in my head. It should go pretty good and it should be pretty cool when I'm done with it. So I need to get this going. We've got a 50% chance of rain. Now we got chances of rain for the next three days. So uh, if I can't work outside, there may be things in here I can do. All right, man, let's get going. All right, before I put the flashing up top and the last roof joist on, uh, I got to put some P111 up. And there is not much room in here with all these tools in here in the way. So moving things is a little fun. Alright, let me see. I don't know if I can stand this dude up or what. coming back and putting regular nails in this so I know that came up this is just to help hold in place uh, we'll come do all that once it's up it just makes it easier on me I don't have to sit there and fight it It is a humid one today. I guess the next by Friday it's going to be in the 70s. I can't wait for that. Oh. Alright. Measure where my studs are. We are at 18. Shoot now. 
once in a while this thing jams up. You don't know it for a while. Alright, that's good enough to get started. Let me get a few more in here. Trim that out, cut that out, and we'll be good to go. Didn't show you guys. Got my driveway done. Three loads of gravel. This is the stuff they do. They put on the uh, gravel roads. Good. Compacts down real good. Big rocks. It's gonna last a long time. So man, that makes a difference coming up here. And I got a big pile extra. If I build a carport, do whatever with. I get that last roofing joist in there and uh get that last piece of tin on there and put the flashing on look how out of square the house is oh man i ain't worried about that because that's gonna be cut up put the door in right over there so i'll trim it up or something but i wanted to make sure the panels were straight up and down and level and they are so uh Door should fit in there just fine. I haven't messed with it yet. I'm not ready for the door. Not for a while. So I'm going to get this uh, last rafter cut. 
run this piece of metal up here flashing will be going at the top of this wall facing down so where any moisture gets in uh, from dripping in there it'll go onto the roof and uh, we'll get we'll get there <laughs> and then that's going up another two feet actually where you see that top of that two by four is going up that high uh, you'll see when I get to framing the roof what I'm doing uh, it's gonna be pretty cool all right I gotta say man this is some of the weirdest building I've ever had to do uh, all due to the existing foundations and uh, shape of the house man all right, I'm gonna put this last deal uh, I forgot my level it's all right it's right here somewhere just had it y'all watch that wall for me make sure it don't go nowhere all right level i just say there you are y'all get a kick out of that don't you at least for getting stuff and i'll tell you what starting to get myself closed in a corner here and I got this clamped at the other end well, I want to make sure that it's level with the other one which way's up I don't know why they got that but they do And then you'll see, I got a line on that one. Let's see. And we know there's a stud there, so <laughs> I'm barely clearing this door, but it's clearing it. All right, let me get the level. And I'd already drawn out the line that's level with the top of these, but I'm gonna check it anyway. There's some wacky things goes on with this build. Let me drop this clamp. Put it right underneath it. Keep it from falling. Yeah, see the line. The line was pretty close, and there is level. Level. Slap it in right there. Alright. Figure out where the rest of the joist or the studs are for that wall and put them in there. Alright, guys. Guys, I got started pouring and I went out there and cut that last piece of tin I still got to notch it here uh, I just threw it up there for now I got to fit it yet but that's the last piece that goes on the screen porch and I'm under here I don't see any water coming in nowhere well I know it won't because there's flashing there I'll show you what I did here well can't really see to look up through this crack you can see this. Let me move this aside. See the flashing hanging off the 2x4? And that'll divert any water. Of course, there's going to be another wall on top of this. But that's, you know, if you join two walls, you got to put flashing if it's exposed to the outdoors. So, uh, I'm going to wait a bit to see if this stops. Try to get a little bit more done. All right.
Oh man, that one was a pain. Sharp. That's good there. Yeah, I just gotta cut a little bit off that. Don't get that with a ladder. I gotta put a new disc on. It's getting too dangerous. All right, guys. It's raining. I like that sound. I can sleep to that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. You know, I tried to get some more stuff done today, but it's. Uh, you know, like I said, we got a chance of rain all through the week. So I'm going to get done when I can, but that, you know, we got the back wall up. Got that last piece of tin up. And uh, now we're pretty much going to move on to that. If it's raining, I can probably put up some of this screen tight strips. Uh, I don't know yet. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. Don't matter to me. Happy trails.